Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Enrichment, where we talk to small business owners and entrepreneurs on strategies and best practices. Although some small businesses are often at a disadvantage when competing with bigger companies, they can have one advantage. They can always be smarter than the competition. And that's what we're all about. So let's get right to it. This week, the subject or the question is, are you stuck in no man's land? Now, as defined by the Oxford Dictionary, no man's land is, quote, disputed ground between the front lines or trenches of two opposing armies, or an indeterminate or undefined place, and a land that is undesirable. Now, that doesn't sound like anywhere I'd like to be. However, many of us find ourselves there without even knowing. We're stuck between success and failure, between victory and defeat. We're too afraid to move forward and too scared to move back. So we stay where we are, in no man's land. Why don't we move forward? Well, we're afraid of failure. But sometimes we're even afraid of success. Why, why would that be? Well, because success represents the unknown. We're terrified that we'll be in over our heads and everyone will see us belly flop. So we stay in no man's land. And just like we talked about recently, we even start to get comfortable. Or if not actually comfortable, we tell ourselves that this is as good as it's going to get. But as Simon Mitchell of Iron Paradise Fitness writes, failure is, or should be, the goal. All right. Well, as he explains it, we need to become masters of failure. If our only goal is success, we often don't even try because we're afraid to fail. Simon also summarized a TED Talk by Matthew Clark that was entitled, The Goal is Failure. As Matthew Clark put it in his talk, someone who believes failure is the goal has a distinct set of beliefs that make them a raging success. <laughs> Again, how is, how is that possible? Well, here are the four concepts of failure as a goal. Number one, failure does something. If you failed, it means you've taken action. You've taken your first steps out of no man's land. Number two, the second concept is really a continuation of the first. As M Mr. Clark explains in his TED talk, a failure finishes. To completely fail, you need to see it through to the end. And unless you do that, you'll never know why you fail. Giving up halfway through simply puts you back into no man's land. This leads into concept number three. A failure understands why they failed. If you follow through, you'll know for sure what went wrong and you won't make the same mistake again. And finally, a failure enjoys the process. Now, now, this sounds a little counterintuitive. How can you enjoy the process of failure? Well, it's all in the mindset. You need to keep the conviction that every failure is an opportunity to learn, grow, adapt, and be better. The bottom line, we need to be willing to try, and we need to be willing to fail. And we need to quit being afraid of failure. We need to think of failure as just another tool. View it as an opportunity to innovate rather than as a deterrent to success. If your goal is not to fail, you've already set yourself up to fail. Now, in researching this discussion, I came across an idea that I think is helpful. When we venture out of no man's land, Make a list of things that could go wrong or ways that you could fail. Then take each one and ask, 
what's the worst that could happen? And when we answer these questions, we quickly realize that it's going to be okay. It may be painful, but we'll survive. As Nelson Mandela reminds us, I never lose. I either win or I learn. Well, okay. I hope you found that useful. If you'd like to further discuss anything regarding this topic or any small small business strategy, reach out to me at rich at speakingofsuccess.us. I'd love to talk. Send me an email and we'll set up a time. Thanks, and I will see you next week. All right, bye.